Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create an image reflection. We've got the original right here. I've got the move to active and I'll put it a little bit to the top. Now I copy this layer. We call that reflection. I'm going to correct the typo here. So our top layer is supposed to be the reflection and below it is the original. I drag the reflection down while holding control. Move to is still active and now I use the arrow keys upwards until I've closed the gap. Now I use the flip tool right here. You can find it where the scale tool is. Make sure that it's vertical and then click on the image. It's going to get flipped. You don't want to have a gap. So let me show you what it looks like with a gap. So here you can see it. You want to definitely close that. So go up with the arrow keys. Even a little bit more. So you want to have a seamless transition between these two images. Go to the reflection layer, right click, give it a layer mask, make sure that it's fully white. Click on it, it should be active. So make sure that you're not on the image, but on the layer mask. Now use the gradient tool, we use a two color gradient. And we just use this bluish greenish one. I've got two points, I select the top one and I make it white. And then I select the bottom one and I make it black. Now we can reposition these points and adjust the reflection. And there's also a middle point that determines the position of the center. So you can play around with that as well. Let me just use something like this. It should be enough to show you the effect. If you now want to have an angle, you can add that in many different ways. You can, for example, go to the top layer and then use this merge function. It's going to merge our reflection with the original, so there's no one layer. And now I use the perspective tool right here. You can also press shift P for that. Left click on the image and now you can drag these corner points up and down, left and right. If you hold shift, they're going to stick to the horizontal line. So there's one way to do it. If you don't like it, you can always press Ctrl Z and redo the effect. So maybe you want to have such an angle. When you click on the center, you can still move it around. And there's also the readjust function where you can adjust the angle even further. What I like to do is to apply this perspective on the reflection first. So if you want to have that, like I did in a thumbnail, you'll have to press Ctrl Z until you've got your two layers separated. So before we've merged them, and now you select your reflection layer, make sure that you're not on the layer mask, but on the layer itself. So this needs to be active on the left hand side right here. And now left click with the perspective to active on your reflection. And now you can widen that to left and right. I hold shift when I do. And I confirm via transform. Now let us merge these two layers again. I use the perspective tool like so. So you can combine that. And this is how you basically have all the freedom to adjust this reflection angle in the way that you need it. And this is generally the process that I use to create image reflections in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.